Hi guys, this is Philip, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you something I've been working on for a while, um, just under a month actually. Uh, this is a game um, that I started on uh, Dark GDK. I've never written in that language before, I just came from Dark Basic Pro, uh, in which I did my other games, and um, here's some of the stuff I've done to it. Uh, it's a 3D game, um, I haven't done that much to it yet, but um, I wanted to release a few updates like I did my other one but uh, hopefully I'll do this one to completion and uh, so here's some stuff I've written just gonna go through the code quickly and then I'll show you a little bit of the gameplay which is quite basic so most of this code I mean pretty much all of it is written by me I did take some of the stuff from uh, people that have written in Sparkies before so I can get some basic um, collision and stuff just for walking and uh, but pretty much all of it is mine. I try to avoid looking at other people's code, at least stealing from it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get to the end here. So that's about it, and uh, I'm just gonna close that and start showing you the game. Okay. Um, so as you can see here, here's the game, and I'm gonna show you something of the basic stuff I had to start off with. So here's my main character. Um, all the models you'll see here, I mean, not all of them, but most of them I stole from um, uh, Dark Matter's model list. I had that somewhere. And uh, obviously you can't, you know, sell the game with them. But I'm not planning on doing that anyway. But, um, like, the table and and I think this uh, assault rifle I got off some other place. But um, here it is. I mean, I drew this uh, little, um, well, square cube kind of thing going. Um, but um basically it's it's all pretty straightforward i um I've got as you can see here on the left, like the polygons and the frames per second I'm getting, and um yeah, it's pretty straightforward to be honest, so I'm gonna just go into character mode, press f one so here I am, as you can see, I can do basic stuff like uh walk run uh, he's he hasn't got a weapon or anything, so he's fine, he's just gonna walk normally um uh, I'm gonna just move over here. So as you can see, uh, it can tell you if it's if I'm running. I've got no weapons in my hand, and uh, as you can see there uh, on the left, you see what weapon is closest to the player. And I'm using like um, I think it's Pythagoras theorem or whatever to uh, find the distance between the player and the weapons at all times. I think that's the best way of doing it. Um, it's not really that efficient, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna just gonna hold E to pick up the pistol as you can see me he changes animation so he's got the pistol in his hand he can move forwards and backwards and stuff and look check he's just got his crosshair out and um, check uh, look at the crosshair when I run see that it expands so I've got a small incrementing thing which I thought was pretty cool and uh, I'm gonna have the same for when he crouches and I haven't got that crouch um, animation and stuff yet but I'll have that soon um, you can shoot I'll show you <laughs> You see actual bullet objects coming out of the uh, weapon. I'll show you some of them. So you go. Yep, that's it pretty much. Uh, so I'm going to spawn an enemy here, just pressing space. Um, I've got that going as well. As you can see, them uh, they've got their basic animation. So I've got three types of enemies. See if I can get them all. Um, they're all, like I said, taken off the um, dark matter thing. Uh, model list, so you can see they've got this idle animation going. There's no AI to them yet. They're just standing there. They take bullets and they die and stuff. I'll show you that in a second. So as you can see, there's three types. They all have the current animation. So you go shoot them. Uh, they all have different health as well, but I'm gonna work a bit on that to be honest. This one's the strongest. There you go. He's just died. And uh, it took me quite a while. I mean, um, it took me quite a while to get the uh, everything going and um, the bullets actually hitting 100% of the time where you're aiming at, which is quite good. Uh, so I'm just going to pick up the assault rifle now. Sorry about the noise. I think it might be a bit loud, but I'll try and reduce that.
So I can only have at the moment 10 enemies at a time. I, I can spawn them and stuff, but it won't go over 10. Uh, just you know, just for testing and stuff. I don't think I'll ever have any more than 10 anyways when I'm playing the game, so I should be alright with that. Um. So that's about it. The shotgun isn't actually done yet. I can shoot stuff, but I haven't like made the layout of a shotgun. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. So as you can see, I'm really pushing the polygon count there. Not not really too high. 14, 15,000 stuff. Not too bad. Just trying to see how much I can push it before frames start falling, um, as that will be quite useful. So I've got sparkies like to have collision between objects. So you know I can't like running to through any enemies or tables and stuff. So or through the thingy, like like this. I need to probably work a little bit on it. But um, anything else? Well, this is pretty much it. I'm going to start working on the uh, AI code soon. Uh, add some crouching. Uh, what else? I've got quite a few things, a lot of things to add. The AI, um, at the moment I've only got idle mode in which they just stand still and do nothing but other than that I think this is pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I'll close this now. So that was pretty much it guys. Um, I just gotta do um, um, finish doing some more stuff and then I'm gonna try and I've got a few classes but I'm going to try and clean up the whole code and just put it all into classes and um, try and see a more object oriented way of doing things um, as I'm not that good with it yet but um, at the moment it's, I think it's going quite well and um, hopefully I should have a good game going soon but um, I'll try and release one of these every month or so or maybe every few months depends how much I do on it um, but um, that's about it thanks for watching see ya